Ginger is somebody who creates old stuff into new stuff. I think one of the really great things about Bryn Mawr is that we empower girls to really engineer their future. The makerspaces are one of these places this is happening, but also within our classes we have teachers that are really engaged in student-centered teaching. The Creation Station is for girls kindergarten through fifth grade, and each grade has a specific project that they work on, but they also have smaller projects that they can choose to work on. We're not just sitting in a classroom, like, hearing a teacher talk to us. We're actually, like, doing something. We're making catapults instead of hearing about why catapults work. In this room, I don't care what your catapult looks like. I don't even care if your catapult works. What I care about is that you're trying and that you're inventing and that you're trying again when it fails. Learning that failure is okay and risk taking is okay because that's how you learn and that's how you improve is critical learning that when you're young, that it's okay that not everything you make is always going to work out. Bryn Mawr is a tradition of, of innovation and technology and I want to push that tradition and keep building upon that, that reputation. It's been very gratifying for me over the last two years to see um, Bryn Mawr moving into this territory with, with a lot of great excitement and the results that have come from it. What's so exciting about the Makerspace is that you can use pretty much anything. Like there's so many things I've never even seen or heard of before. When I think of a Makerspace, I think of the opportunity to be creative through technology. Students actually learn better when they don't necessarily feel like they're learning, when they're moving through the motions, acquiring their skills, using those skills, and communicating with others to see how they're doing, how they did it differently, um, and different iterations that they could bring into the process next time. I've always been really interested in technology, so it's been really cool to have this space that you can just come in and experiment with. Our girls are learning that they can solve problems, that they're not a, just a, a consumer, they're a driver of change. I think that's a big piece. And I think long term it's great because as they go into college and they go into careers in the future, they'll know that they have the ability and the, and the confidence to, to develop change and to follow their passions and really do great things. I really want to like pursue um, like computer science and other cool technologies and so I think it, like learning it now will help me in the upper school and so eventually when I get to college I'll maybe pursue my dream in computer science and technology. Because of the experiences at Vermar and the great teachers we have, I feel like I could do anything. We've always had a, a legacy of allowing our students to wrestle with the struggle that comes with bringing an idea to life. And because of that, I think we're seeing our students eat this up so quickly. We see the utilization of these spaces skyrocketing um, and what comes out of it. Having the students learn in a very um, trial and error based way where they're, they're experimenting with things, tinkering with things, and, seeing what works and what doesn't work. It feels like such a natural way for the students to learn things. For me, what's so um, interesting about the Innovation Lab is that you can take an idea that's only in your head and create it so it's something tangible that you can share with other people. You can come in here with a very small thought that you might not have before thought was possible and like actually make it happen and make it work and make it yourself. We have this big, beautiful space in which to have our students on our campus exploring and looking at new ideas and technologies and we've, we've grown that program over the years and it's really nice to see Bryn Mawr's commitment to this um, type of learning and, and investment in the maker uh, movement. Every time I come here there's something new that I can work with. I'm very aware of how lucky I am that I'm here at Bryn Mawr and um, that I have this robotics team that can help guide me to um, different possible like possible careers and different majors that I can take in college. Bryn Mawr's really embraced the maker movement in multiple ways and they see the value. I think everyone here sees the value of what the skills we're instilling in our, in our girls and, and where they're going. I love seeing Bryn Mawr girls building, creating, doing things that we never thought were possible, having fun while they're doing it. It's revolutionary, it's bold, it's the Bryn Mawr way.